to another video featuring Richard C. Jane. This video will just chuck these on the floor. In this video, we are showing you all of my. Oh, they're not. Oh, all of my surfers poppers for brim. So let's get into it. So here's one. I believe it's by Force 10. Don't know what it is. It's a crappy little from Kmart. Paint goes off really bad, but they have good action. So I recommend if you're starting off brim fishing, pick up one of these and cast me to pontoons. Second lure. It's a homemade lure, right there. Don't know if you can see it. Yep, right there. And it's for. I'll say it's for. It's for brim. It's homemade, Aboriginal flag colour. Don't know. It goes under the water a lot, so it's like. It's pretty. I I kind of fish it as a skip bait. Like I mean. You can skim it. I skim it across near the pontoons to get the brim's attention. And then I just rip it through the water, pretty much like a bent minnow. So if you want to make one of these, get some pine wood and uh, take, like, pause your screen, take a Photoshop, um, take a screenshot right now, and then print it out, cut it out, stick it onto the wood, cut it around the wood, carve it out, and then you've got your lure. I don't know what I call it, maybe the Super Striker, I don't know what I'm going to call this lure, but that's a good lure for you too. Then I've got my flies, so, so I've got one fly here, these are the owl, these are probably the only flies I have, but I just don't know what they are, I guess the surface, but yeah, oh and I don't know, maybe, if, if, I don't know if Brim eat, um, frogs or not, but, here's our cheap China frog that I got from eBay, $50, yeah, so thank you for watching, as I always say, keep safe on the water, keep your lines wet, and see you sunny now, bye!